Okay everyone, I got wind. This is my new uh, my new look for my turbines. Oh, they're all, all black. Uh, this is the treadmill. I've just been painting it, me and my boy. And that's the Antec. And obviously because the swivels in the office chair, I just kept the, the actual base. It makes it quite easy for maintenance. You just put it in there and, and that's it. Um, so that's the one. That was my first one. And this is my second one with an Antec um, motor, which is hidden in there somewhere. And that's just pipe. And uh, my new arrival today is that, which is a 50 watt solar panel. That's the existing one, which used to be there. But because it's, well, you can see the pond, the moment you get evaporation, it'll probably want to do uh, a lot of good for the actual panel. And this basically just sits on a, on a stand I used to use for the miter saw. And I just build this frame out of oak. This is all. And I just bolted everything, left a little bit of gap there. For air. And uh, so one charges one battery bank and the other one charges the other. And this is inside the, the actual shed. Uh, so the little one, the 40, 40 watts or 50 watts, I think it is, charges this one. Which at the moment obviously is not charging because. Uh, it's about 8 o'clock now in the evening or 7 or half 7 or something. But the batteries are charged. The batteries are actually 13.1. So today this will run my the, the lights for tonight. And now with the new 50 watt one, 12.8. Uh, which is good because uh, I've only uh, I received it about four or five o'clock this this afternoon, and uh, I've seen there three point one amps there when it was charging, but today it was quite cloudy, and I'll charge this. Now what I need to ask you is how to connect the, the turbines to to the actual. Um, the actual batteries. Do I just uh, overpass the, the solar controller, or basically, I, I'm sort of, I just need ideas of how how I'll go about doing it. Um, on the treadmill, what I basically did. <laughs> by the way, this is my heat sink, which <laughs> which is a, a there's a diode, which is basically just a <laughs> frying pan. Um, we're actually running out of frying pans. Uh, because I seem to use them for hubs. But anyway, I can always buy one or two more, keep the missus happy. But uh, yeah, so this is see, this is a treadmill basically connected. Uh, it goes into there, then that's the fuse there. I think it's a 20 amp, I'm not too sure. So that just um, it overruns that. So is it, this is just the, the actual solar panel connected to that. And uh, what I'm thinking of doing is um, doing the same thing on that system there with a the treadmill because I'm going to have the two turbines up and running. And uh, so this this is the Amtec. This will be the Amtec and the, the 50 watts solar panel charging. And that one there is the 40 watts with a treadmill. And uh, I'm just wondering how I can actually connect everything. I'm sure everyone that got wind, well a few people there will, will basically tell me how to do it. And um, and once I know that, I can connect everything and I'll be up and running. Well, up and running. Uh, at the moment I've only got one pipe there, which I've been using for the treadmill and for testing the Amtec. I just need to get another one. And um, I'll have the two turbines up and running. And uh, with the solar panels, hopefully. I'll have loads and loads of uh, energy and uh, my idea is to basically on one day 
for example today uh, just use this batteries to give me all the lightning and, um, and then the day after while well, that's fully charged um, use e these ones I'll try that and then I'll just see how, how that goes and, uh, and then eventually if I, if I see that I can use a bit more I'll probably just use one for lightning maybe these this one and uh, and then this this one's here for something else maybe TV or something once once everything's up and running okay everyone so this is just a little update the turbines have been painted black me and my boy have been doing that and uh, yeah this is my little my little stand for the, both solar panels made out of oak which hopefully will, well I've painted it three or four times with Danish oil so it should withstand the, the weather and everything is bolted it's quite sturdy anyway and uh, yeah it should should be okay I just gotta sort out the wires Okay, everyone, thank you.